once you connected the battery to the charger, the rapid charger, the fans will turn on and it will start charging. At the moment you see at 25%. Alright, it's got it right out of the box with the 21 inch self-propelled motor. So out of the box, what you want to do first is just charge the battery. Because by the time you unpack and everything else and pretty much ready to mow the lawn. That's what I do, I'll just charge it quick. So by the time you throw the cardboard box away, the wrapping paper, throw everything in the recycling bin. By the time you're finished doing all that and some other stuff as well. Yeah, by the time that you do all that, the battery will be charged. And time does go fast, so once you lose track of the battery, once you check it, it will be fully charged. Now it's at 50%, so it's going good. It's a fast rapid charger, so it's up to 60 minutes charging time. And since this one's a 7.5 amp hour battery, I'll give you a good amount of run t running time to more. So it's about 60 minutes to charge and 60 minutes to use on the mower. But if you, it's also compatible with different Ego products, so that's good. You don't have to worry about the battery dying on you when you're working on your lawn. Also a quick tip, if you want to save some money on the battery, I would recommend buying it with a kit like I did with the mower. So this battery came with the mower, so you save up to like, I got like saved 150 or even more depending on where you buy it. So. It saves you money there, so I recommend not buying it separate, but buying it with a kit. You save some money purchasing by using it as a kit than by itself. That's if you want to honestly find a great deal, then try it. I'll have the link in the description of the battery and the kit too, so you guys know where to go. So you can try to see the battery, the price difference on both. So check it out, don't forget. So once it's fully charged, you'll see it this way. It only lasted 40 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. Because there's already some charge on it, but 40 minutes is not bad, it's not an hour, so you save some 20 minutes, so that's good. So once it's, once you find out it's fully charged, what you want to do is just take it out because the battery will be warm. And you, you also hear the fans in the back, so 100% all, all the lights are green, they're not flashing, so once it's solid green, it's fully charged. And then you're ready to pull it out. Just be careful because it might be warm or hot, so careful when pulling it out. And leave it to the side, let it cool off for a bit. And once the battery's cold, you're ready to use it. It's always recommended, like, because I know since I do electrical, batteries always better to be used when they're when they're cool, not right after they're charged. It increases the longevity of the battery. So the cooler the battery when you use it, the better. Also, if you have the regular standard charger, I recommend charging with that one instead of the rapid charger, because frequently discharging the battery and charging it at high speeds decreases the life cycle of the battery. Very small, but. It, it tends to add up over the years, so I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend using the regular charger if you have it. But if you don't, then it's okay using a rapid charger. It's just good knowledge to be aware. Uh, once you, if you have the regular charger, use it because it will help in the long run. It will save you a lot of money for many years, and it will make sure that the life cycle of the battery will last for a long time. The more you know, the more you'll save. Hope the video helped and I have the link in the description of the battery and as well as the kit. If you want to buy the kit, it saves you money. And look forward to new videos of my Ego soft pulled more. And hopefully this video helped in battery management. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.